atomic size. There's actually patterns of atomic size in the periodic table. Um, and we need to understand these. We need to be able to predict which is larger. And one way to do this is to understand, another is to memorize. Um, if we look at going down, oh, this is all across. Um, going, let's look at down first. Going down in a column, the atoms get bigger. This makes sense. You know, here I've got lithium with three electrons or potassium with 19 electrons. Which one do you think is going to be bigger? The one with more electrons and protons, right? The reason they get bigger, though, is the highest principal quantum number increases. They go from having electrons on the first floor of the hotel to the second floor to the third floor to the fourth floor. The distance, the height of that floor kind of represents how far or how big the atom is. So the higher the level that there are electrons in, the larger the atom. The trend going across is kind of counterintuitive. You might think as you go from potassium to calcium to scandium, going across from the left to the right, you would expect that that is getting bigger, right? Because you're adding electrons. It actually gets smaller. But there's a reason for this. As we're adding electrons across a period, we're adding them to the same level, the same floor. So their average distance from the nucleus is about the same but we're also adding protons to the nucleus. And so the charge on the nucleus is increasing. Gotta have a periodic table here, here we go. So as we go from lithium to beryllium to boron over here to neon, see neon, neon, neon's much smaller. Neon has 10 protons in its nucleus, a plus 10 charge. Lithium has a plus three charge. Higher charge, stronger attraction. This is attraction between opposite charges. Stronger attraction, they get pulled in tighter. Because as we're adding electrons going across here, we're adding them all into the same shell, the same floor of the hotel. They're not really any farther away, but we're increasing the charge on the nucleus, and that's pulling them in tighter. So as we go across, the atoms get smaller. As we go down, they get larger. So then we should be able to do things like this. Lead or polonium, which is bigger? Well, here's, here's lead, here's polonium. Lead's bigger because as we go across, they get smaller. Okay, I'll let you go. Have a good weekend.